Welcome to NFL Prop Picks powered by the Blitz. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Hardy, the mind behind the numbers. And we're here every primetime game all season long, giving away Derek's best plays, leans, everything he's got for primetime games coming off a 2-0 straight up Thursday night football week two. Let's go. Sunday night football. Caleb versus CJ. The Bears plus six and a half at Houston. Total sitting at 45 and a half. Caleb Williams. There's a couple, there's a couple of things here with old Caleb Williams. If I know Derek Cardi, it's when everybody is crapping on somebody, he's looking for the value on the other side. And this is a strong one from you. It's a play. It's Caleb Williams over one and a half passing touchdowns, plus 180. Time of recording, bet three, six, five. Got to be buying the dip here, Derek. There's plenty to worry about about the receiver health with Keenan Allen and Roma Dunsa, but I would assume. If I had to speculate, Keenan Allen's probably the play is going to play. He's kind of uh, old and needs that time off. And Robin Nudes uh, looks like that MCL sprain kind of kind of could slow him down. Talk to me about Caleb Williams. Why am I backing him today? We're backing him because he's a he's one game removed from being the most hyped quarterback in in years. You know, number one prospect, generational talent. Everyone loves him. He's in an offense. You know, with all these great receivers, and uh, yeah, he had a bad first week. Uh, it happens. The Blitz doesn't even think Caleb Williams is particularly good. Most rookie quarterbacks are among the worst quarterbacks in the league their first year. They're not as bad as he was week one, so we're expecting some regression to just kind of like a normal, you know, 30th QB in the league kind of level. Um, but all the things that we that people liked about him coming in are still basically true. You shouldn't let one game sway you too much. Um, and there were a lot of actual positives to come out of last last week's game. You know, numbers aside, you know, final numbers aside, the Bears played at the third fastest pace of any team in football. Once you adjust for context, they play a team in the Texans that last year played extremely fast. Not quite as fast week one. We'll have to see what they do this week. But this game in general should mm -hmm. see a good amount of plays run. The Bears were the fourth most pass-heavy team in the league last year, once or in the league last week, once you account for context. And I think there's even more kind of to support that when you consider that there was some murkiness with their backfield, who was going to get the carries. Uh, DeAndre Swift got most of them last week. Um, they came out and they said how much they like him, how they're going away from a running back by committee thing. Uh if DeAndre Swift is your lead running back, you're probably not going to be a run heavy team because he's not the kind of guy that can, that can do that. Like he's the guy that's going to go out and catch passes and kind of be dynamic in the backfield. Uh, so this is a team that may be more pass heavy than we were expecting. They're in a game script that supports passing. They're in a dome, which supports passing and efficiency. Um, you know, we really do want Keenan Allen to play here. If Keenan Allen is out, that does kind of hurt this, uh, but I like this enough at the number that we're getting over one and a half plus one eighty, um, in a good bounce back spot. All right, so I'm happy you talk about pace of play. Maybe the most important thing when we look at volume, especially in the softer markets, right? Completions, attempts, rushes. If you're late to betting, that's what I say. If you're late to betting, if you're betting on Sunday morning, those are probably the best markets that you can get to at the last minute, right? There, you're probably obviously losing value, but. Uh, there's less liquidity in those markets. So let's get to it. A lean double dipping on Sewell here. Over 32 and a half pass attempts, minus 108. That's a lean fan duel. He's projecting for 35.17. If you know anything about like the milestone markets, the difference between like a, a few rushing yards doesn't really increase that much in like in terms of what, let's say he's projected for 35 rushing yards. I'm going to push it to 50. That's a minimal gain. But with these numbers, like the completions and the attempts, uh, you can find some big money in those alt overs. But we're just going 32 and a half here, pass attempts. Closed at 33 and a half last week. He was a field goal favorite, more than a field goal favorite. Now he's a touchdown dog. And you talk about game script supporting him in the passing game. It seems like, A, they're discounting him too much, which we touched on in the first play. And now they've adjusted the markets too much on the other side in these softer markets. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we're seeing. It looks like the market has kind of adjusted in the wrong direction, especially given the team dynamics that we got out of last week. It's it's the same thing I said before. Fast pace of play, passing game script, in a dome, team that might be more pass heavy than we were expecting. 
uh, I I think this one's pretty solid. Yeah, and I've been talking about that a lot recently. Like people on air, right? Media heads, you want to lead with your best spot. Why do you think this is going to be a winner? Here's why. Here's my most convincing argument. No, it's it's exactly what Derek just said. Here's checklist one, checklist two, checklist three, checklist four. Why? Because when you put all those together, the range of outcomes always goes in your favor when you have more of them. If you're banking on just one scenario, you're in trouble because yeah. there's a lot of things that can happen to stop that one path. So uh, lots of ways to look at Caleb Williams. I don't think you'll be seeing a lot of people out there throwing overs, especially on the one and a half. People don't want to touch it. And that's where Derek Cardi comes in, as always. All right, that's what we got. Caleb Williams over one and a half passing TDs, plus 180, bet 365. Play Caleb Williams over 32 and a half pass attempts, minus 108, FanDuel, lean. Sunday night football. Let's keep it solid and hot in week two. Back for Monday night football. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Cardi. This is NFL Prop Picks powered by the Blitz. We'll see you back here Monday night football.